tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. We have, I will be interviewing an organization, a youth organization actually, called Heroes Without Capes. So let's not prolong this. I want to introduce you guys to the officers of Heroes Without Capes. First, we have Dominic Maori. He is the founding chairman of Heroes Without Capes. Hi, Dominic. Are you there? Yes, I believe he's there. Hi. There we go. Dominic. Hi. Hi, Dominic. Uh, sorry. Sorry, nandito kasi ako sa operations right now. Nagbibigay kami ng relief sa mga kabataan natin dito sa buong MCR. And kasama ko yung uh, ibang members natin and si Tito Johnny na tumutulong sa atin para sa magbigay ng tulong sa iba. Oh, wow. That's great. I, I love how you're, you're, you know, you're working while you're being interviewed. I love it. Thank you so much, Dominic. Yeah. Uh, thank you for having us at B81, Ms. Erika. No? Sobrang malaking karangalan sa amin ng uh, may pakita, may pagating sa tao kung yung ginagawa namin para sa ibang kabataan. Sir, so, you know, we have Carlos David Navarro. He is the president of Heroes Without Capes. Hi! Uh, hello, po. Good afternoon. Yes. Um, on behalf of Heroes Without Capes, I'd like to thank V81 Radio for catering to our organization this afternoon. No? Maraming salamat po na nabigyan niyo kami ng opportunity at saka isang malaking honor po ito para mapakilala namin ang aming bagong um, organization lamang na uh, is centered around the youth. Thanks, thanks, CD. You know, I'm I'm really really excited to get to know you more and also your officers. So next we have Shaila Al Ahmed. Sorry, Shaila Ahmed. He, she is the national Hi, Hi. I'm Shaila Ahmed, uh, and I want to say on behalf of, I mean, like my former president and uh, previous have already said it. Like we would want to thank for having us like in this time. No, thank you also for accepting my invitation to interview guys. Thanks, Shaila. Next, we have Ray Maslog. He is the Vice President for Finance and Operations. Hi, Ray. Hi, po, Ms. Erica and everyone watching. Thank you po for having us here in the 81 Radio. Thank you as well, Ray. And of course, we have Gabrielle Loxin. She is the Vice President for Program and Partnership. Hello, good afternoon. Thank you so much, the 81 Radio, for inviting us and giving us this opportunity to share what our, our organization is all about. Thank you so much, Gabriela. So, there you go. These are the officers of Heroes Without Capes. So, what exactly is Heroes Without Capes? What do they do? What is the story behind the organization? Start the organization Maybe... since... Uh... Uh, I was inspired na magbuo nito kasi na-invite ako ng mami ko na uh, maging part ng uh, event, annual event na Don Bosco for PWD Youth and Adults. Tayo to sabi ko, bakit hindi ako magtayo ng isang organization na tumutulong sa mga kabataan, especially sa PWD. So mm-hmm. sabi ko, kailangan ko ng mga katuwang ko dito na naniniwala sa akin na kailangan ng katulong kailangan ng katulong ng mga PWD youth. So, tinayo ko to ng ma, ng mabilis, sabi ko nang walang pag-aanin lang. Kasi alam kong makakatulong talaga to sa ibang kabataan ng sa PWD. Okay, dahil kami ay block blockmate tapos uh, from there, uh, nakita niya ata na isa din akong advocate about uh, youth empowerment and uh, advocate of uh, you know, helping yung uh, genuine help talaga. Tapos in-invite niya ako ng pagkikita daw sa nang uh, an organization that would keep their inclusivity not only uh, revolving around the youth sector but also uh, PWD to senior citizens. Tapos nung andun, ayun, pumayag naman ako. Tapos ayun, uh, the rest of our officers then are members then ng United Nations. Uh, mga senior po namin, mga former chief of staff, mga uh, members of the secretariat ng United, uh, model United Nations. Tapos dun, binuupo na kami dun. Uh, simula na doon. Uh, doon na rin nagsimula ang pag-recognize ng aming organization as a youth organization as we gather officers na. Okay. 
Oh, that's great. So at least you know you sort of know each other, and it's e- yeah. is it easier to work with people you know with? Actually, mas madali po kasi you ha- given na yung chemistry ng pag nag pag you are working with a lot of people, especially those people who are close to you, chemistry is already given. And you know when you have chemistry and you are in a workplace, it's much it's better it's much better working together. And yung parang kakaintindihan na talaga kayo tapos wala na kayong uh, wala na kayong adjustments na gagawin sa isa't isa dahil nga magkakilala na kayo so the job is better done with uh, people who you really know and trust okay yeah actually I also I also agree with that you know I I, I enjoy working with people I know with it's easier to talk to them and you know you also have fun so I, I just want to know what is the structure of your organization? Do you what is your mission and vision? Okay, so uh, ayun po. Um, Heroes Without Capes po is a non-profit organization centered mm-hmm. around inclusivity. We love to cater around uh, problems that are being tackled by the youth, but also we cater PWD. Um, PWD problems, senior citizen problems, because as much as possible, we're gonna try to be an organization that's centered around. Uh, it is centered around inclusivity. But also, our organization is uh, made out of you know uh, volunteers within the youth sector. Uh, it is mainly yun nga, It is mainly for now. Just kasi kakastart palang namin. It's still a young organization. Kakastart palang namin. So para nung focus mo na kami sa PWD, sa youth na din. Okay. Sorry. So how young is the organization? Actually, uh. It, it, it's very funny to talk about it because it was just recognized early this year. However, 2018 pa ito, nung pinlano ni Dominic, our founding chairman, no? uh, pinlano niya ito 2018, December, around mm-hmm. that time. And then it was realized last year then December, my first project kami, tap, I mean, second project na nun. And then it was formally recognized by a lot of organizations na Year lang, uh, January, mm-hmm. uh, oh, January lang. Oh. As president, what is your duty? What is your role with Heroes Without Capes? So far, ang trabaho ng isang presidente, uh, isa siyang hindi madaling trabaho. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> nag preside ako ng meetings, I overlook the projects, I set mm-hmm. the budget together with my finance officers, and I, ano, Nag conceptualize din ako ng future projects together with the founding chair and the rest of the officers. For us, as, as much as possible, we encourage everyone, kahit yung mga volunteers, kahit yung walang mga position as officers, we encourage namin sila to engage with us. Kasi yung mga position yan, for formality lang naman yan eh. Uh, mm-hmm. For presentation, uh, fake lang naman yan. So, Why don't yun lang, we interview lang. your other officers? Maybe we could start with your national secretary. I'd like to call on Shaila. Yeah. Hi, Kyla. How are you? I'm good, Thomas. How are you? I'm good, also. Really happy to have you guys on my on my broadcast. Mm-hmm. So, as I'm curious, as national Thank secretary, you. what what is your role and what is your responsibility? Um. So. It's what an ordinary secretary would do, but then it's when it comes to the organization, uh, I have to be organized because since I'm I'm the one who's taking care of the uh, meetings, the scheduled meetings on who the president, the former president, should meet, and then every time uh, we would come up with an event, uh, I would also try to coordinate with the event director because. Uh, it's not it's not a simple job for an event director. He needs a lot of help from it. And yeah. so I would help him with whatever he needs. I also um I also try to be useful to the VP of uh, partnership and sponsorship when an email would come regarding about sponsorship, uh, mm-hmm. I would tell her uh, so we could uh, know on what to do for our next target like uh What's our next move when they uh, tell us that oh we they could sponsor us for our event? So okay. that that's my role and responsibility in the group. Okay, and is this your first time to hold a position in any organization? Actually, yes. Uh, 
kind of shocked me that it was my first time because uh when i applied i just wanted to be a member and see how where it goes but um i think a former president saw something in me that made him want me to be a part of the organization as one of the structure of it he is again the vice president for finance and operations hi ray hello po. how are you i'm good po. okay so as vp for finance and operations what exactly do you do for the organization oh so as vp for finance and operations well, i handle all the monetary part of the organization um especially when it comes to cash donations so i was also tasked to open a bank account that was named after the my founding chair and my president and also me mm-hmm. and during events po and you know i handle the logistics parts of it po para oh. uh magandang flow po ng events okay so logistics like you're in charge of um finding a venue yes. and uh, providing food and all that yes okay. Okay, so is this your first time holding a position in an organization? Yes, so, yes, miss. This is also okay. my first time. So how is it since it's your first time? Actually, for me, po, it's not a bit hard since I have a lot of friends and my officers also help me in doing my job. So it's kind of easier, easy for me to like do my job. These guys. So thank you so much for that insight, Ray. Thank and you. lastly, may we call on Gabriella Loxin? She is the vice president for program and partnership. Uh, basically, my individual task is I'm in charge of looking for potential sponsors for events. Uh, I make all the sponsorship letters to be sent out. Uh, in addition, I'm also in charge of negotiating and coordinating with. Uh, different guests and speakers. Um, in terms of the program part, I help with what activities to do and organize the flow of events. Okay, so with regards to the program, um, do you does that come from you, or do you talk to the other officers, or is there is there a certain flow that you need to follow in order to create a program? Um, we uh, we actually hold on uh, meetings for that. Okay. Um, we we talk about what activities are suitable for our the PWDs and all that. So yeah. Okay. All right. Um, is this your first time holding a position in an organization? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. So how is it? How is your experience? Um. Sometimes it's it's kind of hard because there are problems, uh, especially that I'm uh, the vice president for program and partnership. So I have to make sure that we have uh, guests and speakers. But you know, with the help of my other officers, it makes it easier for me. Do you have any upcoming projects that you would want to share? Ah, uh, okay, po. Thank you, po. Uh, on that note, po. 2020 po this year around January we were really reignited by our project last year uh yung gift giving uh, po or Christmas party 2019 tapos sabi namin gumawa kaya tayo ng ano uh, na brainstorm kami uh, together with my officers and our founding chairman we brainstorm together na para makabuo ng project sana sa March ulit kasi nga hindi natuloy yung March project namin last year so why not ituloy this year Okay. Uh, it was supposed to be around March. Tapos yun nga, uh, March 27 to the specific. It is uh, a conference of PWDs, uh, mm-hmm. youth, and then senior citizens around NCR. Pero uh, hindi po siya na-realize dahil po sa pandemic, sa COVID-19 pandemic, which really uh, affected greatly our project. Mm-hmm. Uh, yun po, parang hindi na lang po namin po siya ipagpapatuloy hanggat ano pa hanggat uh, nasa red alert pa po ang ating bansa maybe later this year hopefully in God's will pag okay. nawala na tong pandemic itutuloy po natin yung proyekto natin na yon okay so is there somebody 
um, in your organization who is basically in charge of this future project of yours or is it as a whole? Uh, yeah. Yes, so um, actually, of course, we deal with it as a whole, uh, mm-hmm. as an organization. Pero meron po kami program director. Okay. Tapos ang program director po natin is the vice president for operations and finances, si VP Ray Maslog po. Uh, siya po yung binigyan ng trabaho ni founding chairman para i-forward po yung uh, i-forward po yung project natin ito. So pwede po natin siyang isali sa segment po. Okay. Actually, yeah. Why don't we call on Ray? Maybe he can yeah. talk about more on this future project of yours. Hi, Ray. Hi. Yes, po. Yeah. So, as mentioned by your president, technically, you're the one in charge of the future project. Um, the, the one that was supposed to be last month, am I right? Because yeah, so, every year, po, mm-hmm. our founding chair um, mm-hmm. assigns an event director. Po. That was yeah. this 2020. I was assigned to be the event director po. So, okay. yung, yung sabi nga po ni CD na dapat po sa March 27 po, la, uh, magkakaroon kami ng e- event for the PWDs and yung youth po and senior citizen. Tapos, ang, ta- ang tawag po doon sa event na yun is positive mind leads to positive life po. Okay. Um, yun yung naisip kong i-title kasi parang yung mga PWDs na youth and senior citizen, kailangan po nila na ma-uplift sila during this kind of situation po na parang ang dami po kasing na-lel-neglect na, 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 na mga PWDs na hindi sila po nabibigyan ng opportunities. So parang for me, naisip ko na why not iparamdam natin sa kanila na hindi sila dapat mawala ng pag-asa na pantay-pantay lang tayo. Okay. Uh, kaya natin kaya rin nila ma-achieve kung ano yung kaya natin this is the first time I'm actually hearing that a youth organization not only focuses on the youth but also on their fellow PWDs and senior yeah. citizens yeah so that's that's really great I you know I hope that um, you guys get to push through with that project because it's actually a really really great project I, I can see, you know, potential in that and in you guys. Yes, well, thank you. Bro. So, thank you so much, Ray. What is your thank current you. project, actually, if I may ask? Uh, uh, in line with the 2019 virus or the COVID-19 global pandemic, we came up, kasi po na-cancel po yung uh, March event po namin. So, might as well, we, we replaced it with another productive project in line with this arduous time that we have right now. So mm-hmm. with that, uh, our next step, because of the ECQ or the COVID-19, mm-hmm. uh, we made an event uh, that would, uh, parang, parang pag-cater po siya ng, uh, pag-cater po siya sa mga frontliners natin po. Kasi nakikita po namin, the, one of the vital uh, organs of this pandemic are those who are in the front line. So gumawa po kami ng, uh, gumawa po kami ng, sorry, Nang initiative that would uh, accept donations, that would accept uh, voluntary uh, engagement, so that we would be able to cater those um, frontliners, kahit sa NCR lamang po, or kahit within the Metro Manila area lamang po, kasi po naniwala po ang Heroes Without Capes that uh, in, uh, for us to be able to fatten the COVID 19 curve, we should be able to, you know, share what we have and help uh, one another in these difficult times. Kasi po, uh, na na na, na na din po namin na since cancel naman yung activities namin last year um, yeah. last year and then yung March namin activity why not replace it with a more productive one that will help and benefit the entire country na rin po and you know to flatten the curve of the COVID-19 which is very important as we say right yeah as, but during this time I think that's ev- that's what everybody wants just to yes. really flatten the curve so that you know um, this global pandemic and finally end. So, as mentioned by CD, you guys held a Christmas party for the youth and the senior citizens and PWD. So, I just want to know what did you feel during that event? Um, Actually, uh, I will be honest with you, I actually just came in 2020 
So I was a part of the 2019 Christmas party for holiday. But based on the pictures that I've seen, I feel like the people were really touched that they know that someone's out there looking out for them. Mm-hmm. And it made it really warms my heart to see that um, the officers who conducted this event did a great job at touching the senior citizens and the PWD part. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, right. Thank you so much for that, Chayla. How about Ray? I want to know um, Ray's insight on this. Hi, Ray. Were you there? No, the... I wasn't there also, Mish, because okay. I, I think um, Dominic just chose us to be his officers this year. What so, made you, um, you know, join the organization? Um. Kasi po, um, nag-start po kami na magkakilala during the demon po in CSB. Uh, I I saw in Doms po kasi na parang sobrang passionate niya na makatulong po sa tao. Mas lalo na po nung staff po kasi siya ng demon. Nakita ko po na sobrang maala, maalahanin po talaga siya sa tao. So parang hmm. sabi ko, Parang gusto ko tumulong kay Doms kasi kita ko po talaga sa kanya na gustong-gusto niya po talaga makatulong sa mga taong mas lalo na yung nafe-feel na left out po. Mm-mm. Oh, that, yeah. I, I actually, I got to talk to um, Dominic and I could see naman um, how he really, his passion is really there. So it's good to know that he actually inspired actually, you. Tell guys. us more. What happened during um, um, your donation drive? Maybe you could tell us what you just did. Uh, right, right now. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, actually, masarap sa sa puso kasi nakikita mo yung ibang kabataan na nangangailangan na nagpapasalamat sa'yo. Actually, hindi. Ah, uh, parang malaking ano na 'yun, parang napaka overwhelmed siya sa kagaya ko sa amin sa Heroes that kasi kasi nakakatulong kami sa kapwa namin kabataan na na hindi hindi sila nagtitiisa kumbaga. Nandito pa nandito kami para sa kanila. Yung iba yung feeling kasi pag tumutulong ka, iba yung feeling na tumutulong ka dahil may gusto kang makuha ng sympathy sa kanila. Kumbaga, tumutulong tayo kasi nga kailangan tayo ng kapwa nating kabataan sa panahon ng crisis na 'to. Okay, so ano yung um, ano yung ginawa mo today? Um, did you give donations ba? Yeah, nag-ikot kami around NCR, ah, Metro Manila, NCR, uh, okay. sa, sa Pasay, sa Mandaluyo, para bigyan yung ibang uh, kabataan talaga na alam namin walang-wala sa sa buhay nila ngayon as in walang, walang makain, like sa street, may kami yung konting pagkain, konting donations para may, may malagyan ng laman yung sikmura nila. Kahit sa, kahit sa maliit na paraan, eh, may tawid namin yung gutom na nakaramdaman nila. Okay. Then, mabuti naman yun, no, Dominic. So, since actually, narinig na namin yung story from CB how, you know, this organization came about. Pero, sige, we want to from you since you are, you know, the brain behind Heroes Without Tape. Um, how did you come about this organization? What What is the story? What is your story? So, uh, sa, yung story ng organization ito is sobrang makahulugan siya sa akin. Kasi nga, ginawa ko to para sabi ko, ano ba yung pinakamagandang way para makatulong ako sa kababatan? Yung parang extraordinary na sinasabi ko na parang, ah, ito, PWC. Kasi sila yung pag nakikita mo sa kalsada, kahit sa school, sa normal na buhay ng tao, sila yung tinukod na akala nila na hindi sila belong sa, sa, sa society na to sa mundo natin. Kaya sabi ko, ba't hindi natin iparamdam sa kanila yung tunay na pagmamahal at hindi sila, na, hindi sila naiiba sa atin. Kasi kagaya kag- 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 ng lagi kong sinasabi sa mga uh, officers ko, na parang we are blessed and lucky na kumakain tayo ng higit sa tatlong beses sa isang araw. Minsan, nakakalabas pa tayo, nakapag-party pa tayo, nakapag-enjoy pa tayo. Pero itong mga PWPs na to, wala silang kakayahan kagaya ng ginagawa natin. Kaya sabi ko, ba't hindi natin iparamdam sa kanila yung parehong buhay na nakakanasan natin para maramdaman nila na hindi sila nag-iisa. Um, sa lahat ng nakikinig at uh, sabay-bay ngayon, no? uh, 
mag-ingat po tayo palagi at tuntin natin ang mandato ng ating gobyerno na manatili sa bahay natin. Tulong, magtulungan po tayo dahil tayo mismo sa sarili natin ang makakatulong mat- 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 sa COVID-19. You can be a hero na nag-stay ka lang sa bahay mo. Huwag na tayong lumabas kung wala namang kailangan. And lagi tayong magdasal na matapos na sana to. And sana wala, huwag nang madagdagan yung kaso ng COVID-19 sa bansa natin. At ipagdasal natin yung bawat isa na lagi ligtas na hindi magkasakit. <coughs> dahil, dahil kailangan natin mabuhay pa. Kahit, lalo sa kapwa ko kabataan, no? kailangan natin mabuhay pa para magsilbi pa sa bayan o sa kapwa natin kabataan. Yeah. Sana mag-ingat kayo palagi and God bless. Thank you so much for the inspiring words. Dominic, how about CD? Uh, first of all, I'd like again to thank V81 Radio for catering our organization for in order for us to advance and uh, to propagate our um, uh, our advocacy, especially in these hard times right now. Um, one thing I could only say right now is to, in order for us to flatten the COVID-19 curve, it is ideal that we only stay indoors if you have nothing else better to do, no? Uh, kasi po, naniniwala po tayo na ang COVID-19 po ay hindi lang basta-bastang sakit na na mawawala. Kailangan po natin ng full nationwide cooperation dito. Kaya naninawagan po kami sa lahat ng sektor ng ating community, uh, either youth, either senior citizen, PWD, manatili po tayo sa loob ng ating mga bahay. And don't forget to reach out to the government. Kasi andito po ang gobyerno, andito po ang mga NGOs para tulungan po tayo. Uh, uh, isa pa po, uh, naniniwala po ako na sa pamagitan ng pagtulong, pagdonate, uh, it will really help alleviate and flatten the COVID-19 curve. Because personally po, I believe that food or ang pagkain po should not be a privilege because it is a basic need. So in order for us to, you know, to alleviate one another, in order for us to be inclusive, let us help one another uh, through any possible way we can. Not, hindi naman na siya na lumabas tayo. Kasi lagi po natin tandaan that uh, uh, yun nga, kay Jose Rizal and I ko sa kabataan yung pag-aasa ng bayan. The news are on the news sector uh, uh, to start little by little changes that start within ourselves. Kasi yun nga, isa tayo sa pinakamataas na uh, COVID-19 infection rate sa Southeast Asia. Kailangan po natin babaan yun kasi hindi po nakakapra, di ba? So, kailangan po natin yung tulungan talaga. And we need to look out for one another, especially uh, sa mga vulnerable sectors, the marginalized needs of talaga right now. So, uh, from the moment, all I can say is about our country, Lord, in our land, and thank you so much each and every one. Especially to our viewers, so thank you so much for tuning in to V81 Radio and for continuing to support uh, the Heroes Without Faith and to my fellow officers. Thank you po. The same goes like the Kabataan is the generation, like we're the new generation now and I think it's better now to um, just stay at home. Like what CB said, if you don't have anything to do, I know it's sad to be at home and you all just want to go and visit your friends. But then, sadly, uh, that right now, uh, let's, let's all... Let's all just continue to pray to God and hope that uh, He could eliminate this for us and help us to do this again and have a regular day again. Yes. Uh, thank you. So, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank, you so much. Yeah, thank you all for Shaila. How about Ray? Just like what Shaila said, I'm going to tell you all about it. So, I emphasize to you that you stay in your house and you always go to your house because um hindi hindi lang po ang COVID-19 ang nakakatakot pati po yung mental health natin so alagaan po natin yung mental health natin and i would also like to thank everyone watching and also Ms. Erica and V81 thank you po thank you so much Ray and of course we have Gabriela uh, uh, i just want to say thank you again for inviting us and giving us the opportunity to talk about our organization and what we have. Um, like I said a while ago, COVID-19 will require the best of humanity to overcome. So, if you can help, help. Thank you so much, Gabriela. Thank you again for 
coming and talking about um, Heroes Without Capes. You know, I hope to meet you guys personally. Um, you guys stay safe and thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on V81 Radio, Manila.